Getting countries to agree on anything is complicated. But over the last few days, representatives of a large number of national governments have been finalizing negotiations on two key documents, the statement on the implementation of RESIS outcomes and also the vision for RESIS beyond 2050. Gitanjali Saar is a policy analyst for the ITU and one of the event organizers. She explains the significance of the documents. Well, it's been uh, nearly 10 years since WISIS and this was the right time to uh, kind of take stock of uh, what we've achieved, what are the challenges and what are the recommendations and the uh, uh, future vision of uh, the WISIS action lines. So the high level event uh, will endorse uh, two outcome documents. One is the WISIS plus 10 statement and the other is the vision. And these two documents were uh, developed in a multi-stakeholder preparatory platform uh, and it was truly open and inclusive to all WISIS stakeholders all over the world. Today is the second day of the high-level track with uh, government representatives such as yourself. Are you happy with the progress of these talks and uh, with these documents? It went on uh, a goodwill by all. And we hope that these two documents that will be adopted, which uh, as much as we support the WSIS outcome, we are supporting also the outcome documents. Uh, it will help us to further enhance the outcome of the uh, WSIS, hopefully. Uh, we believe they are uh, very important documents uh, because since they uh, signal a new phase in the ICT development worldwide, Inevitably, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, uh, change. All countries are moving towards the same direction. Uh, digital revolution has taken over. Uh, uh, spread of information on different platforms has re, uh, moved tremendously. So uh, it's very important that these documents are endorsed and uh, we move forward. Atef Helmi, Egypt's Minister for Communication and Information Technology, have the job of keeping the discussions running smoothly as chairman of the high-level track. It's going in, in a very, very positive way. Uh, I have seen a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, really positive spirit and a lot of energy in this room. And uh, I'm sure that the outcome of this very high-level meeting will have a very positive impact whether in the developed countries or more importantly in the developing countries. Of the two outcome documents. We're in the main room of the CICG and the conference has now come to a successful conclusion. I have next to me Secretary General Hamadun Toure, a happy man I presume. Absolutely. Uh, as usual, we are expecting uh, a good result. There have been a very good preparation uh, before this uh, conference and therefore I'm very pleased. But I should say that uh, there was a very strong and good will from all of the delegations present here in a true spirit of ITU, spirit of compromises spirit of uh, collaboration among all member states uh, and uh, the true collaboration with civil society and academia here and private sector. But the WISIS event doesn't end there. There are still two days left of the forum involving civil society groups, international organizations and the private sector. And we'll be speaking to many of them tomorrow. <laughs>